and then becoming the government contracts officer at Ferranti. From there to the British Aircraft Corporation, transformed into British Aerospace. He had major jobs in British Aerospace relating to sales and to exports, but throughout that formative stage of his career when he established his reputation, the emphasis was on international cooperation and to hear him talk about managing innovation, for instance. regimes, in about one month's time, 16 Hawk fighter jets will be taking off from British Aerospace Base at Wharton in Lancashire for Indonesia, who for 23 years have been in illegal occupation of Indonesia, where they've been responsible for the deaths of over two, uh, of East Timor, where they've been responsible for the deaths of over 200,000 people. Indonesia is descending into poverty. East Timor is still facing massacres at the hands of the Indonesians, but this man's hand, and I think that in your nice little introduction of him, you perhaps could have made that plain. I wonder if you might help. Uh, have, you, have you finished now? You want to add anything more? You're okay, comfortable? Well, uh, Vice-Chancellor, thank you very much uh, for inviting me here this evening. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to you and thank you for coming in uh, to listen to what I've got to say. I'm not going to listen to this. I will leave. Can you leave now, please? I'm leaving now. Let me get that going on my back. That's my song for my first Let me go. Don't Step touch it. Don't touch it. Right. Do you have a message for the families of the thousands of people who've been killed by your brother? Do you have a message? I have got a, I've got a lecture here to give you this evening, which I'm uh, patiently waiting to begin upon. to some of the innovation and the social engineering changes that I think are taking place today. But to just set that into a context, I might remind you that when I became Chief Executive of British Aerospace, um, many people, and I must well say I was not one of them at the time, uh, advised me that I'd been passed something of a poison chalice. British Aerospace indeed, when I took over in 1990, was not in particularly good shape. And I have one or two uh, unique distinctions. Uh, the worst, I think, in my own career has been responsible for creating the biggest corporate write-off in UK industrial history. But how can we create... The how are those people think for... Uh, <laughs> but how can we create a culture where people are thinking... It's Ahead of your time. The, Turkish regime. the Turkish regime routinely torture and kill children and Kurdish civilians. You make deals with these people. And I'm very interested to read here that you've been elected as an honorary member of the NFPCC. How does that compromise your position just a little bit, Mr. Elton? Would you like to answer that? Well, and I'm not here to answer your questions. I'm here to deliver a lecture. If, you'd be, if you'd be kind enough to let me do that, honor, instead of interrupting, in we could all actually get on with the evening.
<coughs> in order to be successful in, and introduce an innovative culture, That's a, rather than answer you sort of specifically on the GEC, but I mean, I think you can deduce an answer from it. I mean, you certainly understand what I want to have a look. There's an article about Indonesia and how the students in Indonesia have been crushed by the Saharan regime. Um, as you well know, you and British Aerospace armed, to, armed Saharan during that regime. I was wondering, before I go on to another question, how you personally feel about arming one of the most vicious dictators of all time and what you have to say to the students in the audience. Uh, about arming that person. Page well, away, ladies and gentlemen, in here. Well, I'm, I'm not going to answer you specifically on an indigenous, but I'll give you a general answer to the question. I believe that our industry has made a huge contribution to world peace. And I can tell you that without the skills and the efforts of people who work in our industry and who have worked in this industry over a large number of years, we would be by far the poorer for it. In the context specifically of Indonesia, I mean, I know there are always concerns about Suharto and about the sort of situation on Timor because you people and many others as well constantly tell me about it. And you know my answer to this question because I've given it to you many times before. <coughs> this is an issue for the government of the country to decide upon. We have to abide by the laws of our governments and that is precisely what we do. At an annual general meeting, please, please don't silence me, I have a right to speak. Right, at an annual general meeting, a few years ago, British Aerospace's Don McLean, who you know well, <coughs> said to uh, a supporter of Campaign Against Arms Trade, sometimes in this game you have to leave your conscience at the door. To the students in the audience, will they have to leave their conscience at the door if they work for British Aerospace? Not at all. I think you can be proud to work for British Aerospace. British Aerospace has made a huge contribution to world peace and will continue to do so into the future. So, in terms of Turkey, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, arming do you Iraq... Think, do, you think, do you think you could give somebody else a chance? I, mean, I, I think I must ask somebody else a chance. You've had two questions. Uh, Professor I ask you people, do not let this man, do not let this man oh, arm no, 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 the oppressive regimes no, all over the world anymore. Ask questions, do not be silent, do not let his big bodyguards rustle you out of the door to try to make points about human rights, ladies and gentlemen. Do you say would you like to say something like that? I've come to the door. Anybody who has not left their conscience at the door, please leave with me now as these bouncers rustle me out because they're not allowing me to speak. Anybody here who wants to leave with me, if not, leave your consciences at the door and work for this man. Uh, so Richard, I just like to ask you a few questions. Um, a number of people here made allegations that uh, British Aerospace was uh, directly responsible for almost 200,000 deaths in East Timor. Well, I, I haven't come here to sort of answer questions on Timor. I've come right. here to deliver a paper, which I've done, mm. and I'm pleased to say I'm now departing. Does British Aerospace have an ethical uh, policy? Uh, you know the answer to that question. No, I don't. Thank I've you. never asked it before. Okay, well, come to the AGM and ask it. Well, I'm asking it now. It's a very simple question. I'm not asking, I'm not asking any questions to you at the moment. Do, do, you, do you have an ethical policy? Sir uh, so Richard, do you have an ethical policy in British Aerospace? This is a totally unfair. Well, well, no, it's, it's a very it's fair totally question. Excuse me, uh, Yeah, I'd just, just like to ask you the question again, because I've asked it several times, you refuse to answer it. No, I've answered it many times for you in the past. Not to me, you haven't, no. No, well, come along to the AGM and ask it. I'm asking you Buy, now, some, buy some shares, place. buy some shares I've and come to the company. I've got shares in Well, you're entitled to ask the question I'm asking you the question now. Does British Airways have I'm an ethical, ethical for, foreign policy? I've, I've, I've given you the answers that I'm sure you want. Right. Uh, don't touch me, that's assault. Thank you. Thank you. OK, so I'll ask you the question for uh, probably the tenth time. It's a very simple question. It's a yes or no answer. Does British Aerospace uh, have an ethical foreign pol policy? <laughs> well, come in left now. Okay. 
Okay, I'll, I'll just ask you, I'll just give you another opportunity. Don't touch me, that's... Don't touch me, that's a salt. Steady. Hey, steady on. Play my equipment and you're paying for it. Hey, steady on. Yes. Hey, Take it that's easy. a salt. It's not a salt. No. Don't touch me. Put your hands off me. So Richard, you seem to be running, running away. You take it easy, please. You break that. Be careful. You break that and you pray for it. Just take it easy. So Richard, you seem to be running away, sir. Excuse me, sir. Is there anything you're trying to hide at all? Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Don't touch me. Excuse me, sir. Don't touch me. Excuse me, sir. Hey, take it easy, boy. Let go of me, that's his fault. Let go. Let go. Let go. Hey. Do you mind? <laughs> Let's help this one. Alright. Richard, you're supposed to be running away. Good for you, okay now. Don't assault me, okay? You've got no right to do that. That's right. Okay. Okay, I'm not touching anybody. You're holding me. <laughs> So is this uh, British Aerospace insulting the press, is it? Thank you. Thank you. Would you not come into the university premises, please? Excuse me. This way, man. This way. Excuse me, my leg's caught in the door. Can you please stop this? No, you're not welcome in here. Well, I've got a badge, I've been invited here. You're not into this building, you haven't. Come on, let's move! No, no, no. Take him out. Take him out. Come on. This is the best of the